main idea uh, behind Spark uh, was uh, to create an instrument for my own uh, setup uh, when I started uh, making music uh, again after a long uh, break uh, three years ago. And I was uh, looking for something that uh, yeah, fits with the way that I play synthesizer. My way of making music is very life oriented and uh, I use uh, a keyboard and, and pedals and stuff like that to control the synthesizer in, in real time. This is a very uh, important aspect. Um, and I wanted an instrument that uh, reacts very uh, responsively to uh, real time control. Yeah, I was looking for a sound uh, character that is uh, uh, that provides a lot of percussive and aggressive sounds uh, that cut well through and uh, also organic sounds that can uh, be morphed into very different uh, colors of, uh, uh, and, and be very expressive. So that's uh, together with the, uh, the real-time control, uh, the, the important thing to, to shape the sounds while you play and to get interesting colors uh, by ch changing parameters, simple parameters, not, uh, not uh, 20 knobs uh, to be touched, but maybe by, just by one knob. I try to uh, show you one uh, one of the sounds that I typically play and uh, yeah, control. I used Reactor uh, to uh, develop this instrument, and Reactor is a great platform for instrument uh, builders. Uh, uh, for me, it's uh, also, the software that I have been dealing with uh, in the last uh, 10 years with Native Instruments. Spark is a reactor instrument that can be played in reactor. After a while uh, of, let's say, doing this thing for myself, uh, the people from our sound design became interested and uh, yeah, listened to this uh, uh, instrument. They uh, said it would be worth uh, to make a core sound pack out of this and uh, to apply a real uh, professional sound design to create a library of uh, very interesting sounds because the capability of sound of the Spark uh, synthesizer is quite uh, yeah, amazing.